Hi guys, I wanted to make a video of me just sitting down and doing makeup because I had no plan on what I was gonna do, but this is what I did and this is what we get. It's just makeup, it washes off, don't freak out. Yeah, let's go, let's get into it. So I already have my foundation on. I've been using the same foundation for like the last few videos, so I feel like it, you didn't need to see that part is what I'm saying. I'm taking my Black Moon Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick and this is in Bones. I'm just gonna use this on my eyeballs because why not? So I'm taking a fluffier brush. This is the Urban Decay Naked 3 brush. It's like an all over shadow brush, synthetic, but you can use it for like blending and whatnot. I'm putting this all over my lid. I'm coming into my brow. I'm gonna wing it out a bit. Oh man, the other night I made the mistake of reading comments on like a video that Ipsy posted. Ooh, it was bad, real bad. They were after me. Okay, okay, okay. We got this on as a base. It gives a really nice pinky nude color for the lid, kind of sickly, and I like that. I'm gonna take my Japanese. I just got this. It's an eyeshadow palette. What's it technically called? It's called Velvet Touch Metals Eyeshadow Palette. I mainly want it for this mustard shade right here because I'm in a mustard mood. The only downside is there's no mirror. I hate that shenanigan nonsense. And then I'm also going to take my MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 palette because I also want this mustard shade. So any mustard shadows you have will work. I don't really even know what I'm doing right now. A Luxie mini tapered brush. I'm gonna start with the MAC shadow. Let's put this in here and bring it into my brow because I want some drama today. I'm going to the Japanesque mustard shade and this is a Smith 247 brush. I'm not sure. This actually kind of looks more gold, doesn't it? Hmm. Um, let's put this one, let's do it here. Why not? Let's see what happens. This shade I'm putting on my outer V and then coming, well, middle of my eyelid outwards and then kind of making a V shape and then coming into my crease. I'm gonna take a brush with nothing on it. I'm using my Stelazi Large Shadow Brush. I'm just going to soften the edge right here, wing out the shadow a little bit. Going back to the MAC palette, this middle brown shade right here, and my Smith 253 brush. I'm gonna come across my crease. I winged it out a little bit, and then I'm gonna take my other Smith brush that I used that gold Japanesque shade with, and then lightly come on that shade to just feather and blend it outwards. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of playing and hoping for the best. Well, that looks cool. Okay, let me do that to the other eye. I'm using the Black Moon Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in bones again with a concealer brush and I'm coming right in my tear duct and just kind of lightly blending it into the lid color. I want this to pop. Going to that MAC mustard shade. MAC mustard. Let's put this along my lower lash line. I love this. Looks like I'm like kind of dead. <gasps> it's everything. Yes. So I'm just building the color and then kind of bringing it down, smoking it outwards. I'm just going for it because, you know, it's just makeup. Why not? Is this realistic for every day? No, maybe. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. I love this look. Let's do the deeper matte shade right in here from the MAC palette. I'm gonna put this one right in my inner tear duct area in here. Yeah, out here. Just kind of wherever you feel. Be in the moment. I am the moment. This is the moment. Uh, uh, uh. 
I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Aqua XL, and this is an M70. It's one of their little paints. You can mix it and use it for just about anything and everything. I'm gonna take this, and I want a liner brush, Stelazzi S112 brush. I want a pop of color, so I'm gonna put this in my waterline. Ooh! Okay. I'm about this look right now. I'm gonna put mascara on top and bottom lashes and then a pair of false eyelashes and I'll be right back. So I put lashes on my top lash and then mascara on the bottom. I'm, I feel naked without my eyebrows, but I kinda like how it looks. Let's just go with it. I was thinking about doing a nude lip, but why be nude? when you can have some color in your life. So let's do the MAC Uniformly Fabulous Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. Oh yeah. This lip is so dark. I look like a hot vampire. Mmm. Stop crushing my dreams. I didn't ask for your input, Joe. Davey Havoc was so hot. I'm thinking OG. <laughs> I wanna take the Makeup Forever Artist Acrylic, and this is in 600. I just want a little bit of a gloss. Right here, look. And now, ooh, yeah, like that. That finishes the look. I keep saying I'm done and then I add more and more. That's why it was funny. So this is the finished look, very natural vampire going out, gonna sit at home, watch TV, and take pictures of myself. I love it. Joe, thoughts, input, feedback, comments. And this is a finished look. I hope you like it. It's definitely a little different. It's just makeup, people. It washes off, so don't be afraid to just play, because that's what I did right now. I really had no plan going into this. This is just what I got. I hope you have a good day today, make good choices, and I will be seeing you guys later. Bye.